Now, current and former staff at Twitter have told the BBC's Panorama programme the company is no longer able to protect users from online abuse following mass sackings and changes under owner Elon Musk. Exclusive academic research and testimony from Twitter users supports their claims, suggesting abuse is thriving under Mr Musk's leadership. Our social media and disinformation correspondent Mariana Spring reports. With more than 350 million users, Twitter is often described as the town square of the internet. But since Elon Musk took over last October, the company's been in chaos. The personal abuse I receive on Twitter has tripled, so I headed to San Francisco to look for answers. Twitter used to have around 7,500 employees. Now at least half of them have been fired or chosen to leave, including Lisa Jennings Young. She worked on features designed to protect users like me from online hate. Thanks so much for having us. It was not at all perfect, but we were trying and we were making things better. One of these protective measures was a nudge function to scan tweets and ask users if they wanted to reconsider posting something potentially abusive. Twitter's own research, seen by the BBC, appears to show the nudge and other safety tools being effective. So overall, 60% of users deleted or edited their reply when given a chance via the nudge. Is it still happening? Is there anyone working on it? No, there, there's no one there to work on that at this time. The nudge does still exist, but when Lisa and I tried it out, it appeared to be working less consistently. No nudge. One engineer still working at Twitter agreed to speak anonymously about what's been unfolding on the inside. It's like a building where all the pieces are on fire. When you look at it from the outside, the facade looks fine, but I can see that nothing is working. Like others I spoke to, he said it's been difficult to maintain features intended to protect Twitter users from trolling and harassment. People like Ellie Wilson. While at university in Glasgow, she was raped. She started sharing her experience as a survivor on social media last summer. But when she tweeted about her attacker in January, after the takeover, she received dozens of abusive replies. The trolls' accounts targeting her had become more active since the takeover. Some were newly created or appeared to have been reinstated after Musk's amnesty on previously banned accounts. What would you say to Elon Musk if you had the opportunity? I would ask, why are these accounts that are bullying and harassing people still allowed on the platform? I would like him to read some of the messages that I've been sent and tell me why those accounts are still allowed to be on Twitter. Musk has used votes on Twitter to make decisions about its future. These polls have no statistical value, but having contacted him every way possible, I used one to try to catch his attention. Over 40,000 Twitter users voted and 89% of them said they'd like Elon Musk to do an interview with me. Neither Twitter nor Musk have responded to the points raised in this investigation. Twitter says defending and respecting the user's voice remains one of its core values. But the users I've spoken to are left with questions. Mariana Spring, BBC News.